Hello everyone, back with some more Night in the Woods. So last time we played, we accompanied Greg to do some crimes and built a robot for Angus. Let's see what uh, tomorrow holds for us. If we're going to have another dream, looks like it. see these are getting creepier and creepier but nevertheless we need to press on Oop. guess the goal is still the same to find all the musicians So how are you guys liking the uh, other games I'm putting on here? That being uh, Persona, XCOM, We Were Here. Y'all enjoying that? I hope you are. And huge thanks to everyone who's watching, by the way. I don't know if I've said that yet, but I mean, I I expected just like just Roman and a few of my friends that I've told about this to be watching, but I've ended up with a lot more viewership than I had anticipated so once again huge thanks for that yeah I'm really enjoying doing this whole YouTube thing um, I mean as I've already mentioned I've bought a new microphone for this so I'm dropping money on this hobby and as I guess it has been seen in the uh, in the new Persona episode, I've been putting a lot more. Effort, I've been decided to put more effort into the uh, thumbnails as well. So, hope you uh, hope you're enjoying that too. Though, as much as I'd like to keep the same structure of that, so that there's some sort of cohesion between episode to episode, um, I thought, yeah, I just had had the urge to. I guess put a little more effort into that. Can I... Am I walking on water? Okay, based off last stream, after after we found all the musicians, there was a sort of point we could go to and sort of end the dream, so we're going to go ahead and find that point. Wonder where it could be. Don't think we've been up there, have we? Oh, no. Thought I had fallen down. That's not the right way. Hmm. Nevertheless, let's enjoy the landscape.
could it all mean? Let's see what our friends are up to. Hey, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I'm here to be helloed at. Update, the robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway, hey boyo, at work all day. Very bored, work sucks. Crap Falcon more like it. Well, I guess that's a invitation as any. But seeing as how we hung out with Greg yesterday, why don't we go ahead and see what May is up to? Or, <laughs> excuse me, B. Who I wonder. Did Dad move the stuff yet? Nope. Okay, and as with any morning, it's good to say hi to her mom. Ah. <sighs> Morning. Long night. Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Mm-hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad with numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. <sighs> She's not wrong. Numbers... are probably the cause of all my problems. Alright. Still can't go there. Wonder when we can. As with any proper day and night in the woods, it wouldn't be complete without seeing the town and seeing what's up with everyone. Totally, what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Not bleeding on your seat in junior high, not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself, or not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom. Did she do all of these? I mean, being a male, I've never really encountered that, so I can imagine that would suck. But this, on the other hand, um, oh, pardon my phone. There seems to be an emergency. Oh, getting a flood here. Lovely. I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. We used to eat in grade school. All right, yeah, those are totally good. Did that other thing happen to you? No, no, not at all. Want to hear a new poem? Always, always, Summers. Lay it on me. Sometimes I like fruit snacks. Out by the train tracks. Decent, decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. Can I taste the atomic dino snacks? And the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. Summers is great. We're... Yeah. Everyone's gotta start somewhere with their poetry. That looks like I can't talk to you. Hmm. You know who I haven't been checking on? Uh I haven't been checking on Bruce, so why don't we go see what's up with him? Ah. Huh. Is it here? 
could he... I always wanted to climb the water tower. But then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to brittle from there. Have we been down here? Oh, there's Bruce. Seen a fire through these trees last night. Past the woods there. Weird noises. I just kept to myself. And they went away. That really is scary. Been around a lot of places. Ain't spooked by much. But out past that water tower? Yeah, that's a that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. I'm in my experience. Strange fire and strange voices. Ain't never been good. Wonder if they'll be back. I hope not. Can we say more? Ah, that's terrible. I really hope things kind of work out for him. Which, I guess that reminds me of a pastor. I'm forgetting her name. I wonder if she's, wonder if she has any updates on Bruce's situation, if they're, if they're trying to do more help to him. I wonder what says in here. Do bingo and bingo and youth ministry. I know at least in my area of town, churches sort of function as, like, in some ways, yes, it's it's a church, obviously, but they also have some sort of, I don't know, like a rec center vibe to it. Like, I used to send a, uh, a model airplane club. That was a lot of fun. Alright. What's up with mom? Hey, long time no see. Hey, Mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone, then. Thanks, hon. Jeez. I can barely ha handle my own finances. I can't imagine... Oh, have we been back here? Can't yeah, imagine having to handle an entire organization's. Wonder if we'll get to check out that room. That might be a pastor's office. Which, if I recall, she should be in here. Oh, town council. Eh, <laughs> town council. He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books, he's not going to eat them. Oh, are they talking about Bruce? Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. How's things? Okay. Weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not, not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours, and it was co it was cozy, so I could take a nap, guilt-free. Feel guilty about naps? Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. Sounds like what someone says when they're not. <laughs> it's it's fine, May. It's going fine. I sure hope so. Though if I know if I know how the real world treats homeless people, I I guess I could say I'm personally not optimistic, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen with them. Alright. Oh, you know where else we haven't been? I believe we haven't gone in the uh, tunnel recently. All right, let's check it out. I'm mean, fishing. Life long gone. Kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh God, please don't listen. <laughs> 
Uh, did you think we couldn't hear him? I can't believe they kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Can I take one yet? No. Oh, hello, man. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa. Mm, I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, huh? How'd you know my granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime? I'll tell you all about him. Things you might not know. Alright, you got my interest. Sweet, curious child. I'd like to check that out more. Speaking for myself, I never knew either of my grandfathers, so... Interesting to hear about Maze, anyway. Amazing thing. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. I wonder if that group of uh, rebellious teenagers is still here. Holy shit. The dudes! Someone hacked up the dudes! Who... who did this? Why did they do it? Oh! Was that graffiti not here? Uh, guess a fresh start is good for anything. Towns, even. Huh. Alright. This should take us near by B's place of work. Hey, CJ? Yeah. You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I, did I, did I know you? you? Used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house? <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? Ah, uh, they were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool, cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. I don't think these have to do with laws, but... Ah, I suppose Greg was afraid of getting in jail, so how do we... how would we get him out? Well, it depends on the situation, you see. Like, would you dig through the wall, or like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. What's in the best, what's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What's the, well, what's the point of going or like, or going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Just on my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Ah, uh, see ya. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. If I recall, we met Germ out here, I think, right? So how did that arm even get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. <laughs> Ooh, I don't believe we were able to go back here this time, or last time. Oh, this is the, uh... Oh, Germ, hey. Hey, Germ. Hey. Wanna hang out? I don't know, I was supposed to hang with Greg or B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. Uh... I didn't even know you could hang out with Germ. All right, bye, bye. Huh? I think I think hmm. I was planning on hanging out with B. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe next time. I I kind of want to. I guess to sort of pull the curtain back. Last time I played this, I did a lot of the things with Greg, so I'm interested to see what B has to offer. And I didn't even know you could even hang out with Germ. So. Hmm. Now I'm... 
Yeah, I'm being indecisive. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with B. I think I'm gonna keep up with checking with um with Germ and maybe one day I'll see what he he does. But yeah, CJ, that guy, he was playing said he plays D and D or not necessarily D and D, but pen and paper games. Uh, also, a pretty big hobby of mine. Um, fun fact for the channel: I was actually planning to play a few games that were based off D and D, mostly like Baldur's Gate, Planescape. Can I get Can I get down? Uh, Planescape, Icewind Dale, stuff like that. Um, yeah, Roman and I have been in, in a couple games together. Uh, like and comment <laughs> if you want to hear about that campaign. Ah, uh, jeez. Anyway. Hey, dude. Hello. How's work? How's working here going? Uh, I don't know. It pays. That's yeah, any job, really. Hey, man. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me, unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. Well, what's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to doing this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired though, because everything about my life is exhausting. I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Kind of weird, I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from the store, and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Ugh. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? I think we made all the stuff we need to make. Alright, let's go, B. Oh, hi, B. Uh, hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ's helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Oh, well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Wow, there's so many kinds of nails. All right then. Ah, he's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. Oh, we're having dinner with her. Ah, this place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kind of. Food. Uh, you know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. Yeah, that's that, that's true. All right. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were going to hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. We're just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing anything, doing the big shop tonight. Well, let me pick out what we have. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Are you coming? Can I? Uh, I guess. Are you asking? I, I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. Well, I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I, I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides. Uh, what even counts as a main course? I mean, I've eaten plates of fries before. I'm gonna stop back at the meat section once you pick out whatever else. Uh, what about a dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, man. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out. I'll be right back. Should make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aw. I can afford a few groceries, man. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. All right. I wonder if she has any ideas. We need a canned good or something. All right. Tosh, green beans, I, are those beets? Well, 
right, let's just keep looking around, see what we got. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, nice rice. You know what, rice? Okay, so rice and mashed potatoes, that opens up a lot of possibilities for us. I'm gonna go with rice. Mac and rice. Uh, okay, canned goods, canned goods. All right, Tash. Sukatash, Sukatash. Delish. All right, I do not know what Sukatash is. Quick skits. Let's ha let's ask B for guidance. I don't because I mean she is buying. Check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Cool stuff. All right. So we got a can good. Some rice. What's in the cooler? Right. Biscuits. Biscuit and rice, sure thing. Whatever Sukatash is, I think that's a I think that's a vegetable. Go with our rice. Got some biscuits, make sandwiches maybe. Should I get baby shaky? That goes with a little meat. So I don't want to only get a few things. I guess we can't progress without it. Uh, okay, so all right, we got. I'm forgetting everything, but that works at the deli. We can go there for meats. All right. Okay. So I guess that's everything we need. Oh, hey, we can finally see our dad outside of the outside of the couch. Oh, hi there, ladies. Hey, dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is it just you? No, not always, but tonight, yeah. Worst places on Earth to be. True, true. So weird seeing you here. That beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, yeah, called a greeter. I knew I recognized him for some, from somewhere. Um, alternatives? Not working. Oh, oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Yeah, just grabbing something for dinner. Oh, how's your dad? All right. Well, what can I get for you? All right, so chicken probably goes best, best with the rice, so we're gonna get that. Can't go wrong there. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yeah, yeah. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, man. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. All right, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That's how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great, don't worry. All right, let's keep this moving. All right, ladies, let's see what y'all what y'all got. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. That looks completely 100% okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. All right, ladies. That was fun. Yeah, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Well, your sarcasm isn't valid. Shop shopping is fun. Woohoo. <laughs> Love B. Dinner time. Uh, this is okay. Thanks. Yeah, that's all right. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thank, thanks. Did fine, man. Thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm good at food. Uh, food is good. It's okay sometimes. Sometimes. Food is really good. Noted. <laughs> Thank you.
So yeah, we're all paid up till f the 15th next month. Alright. Uh, that rock salt sorted. Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do, we have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Ed. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Smelter's playing tonight. Uh, we're, we're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. Girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that was not fun to sit through. Smelters, huh? You a fan? Uh, I can't say I'm into sports. Uh, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, trust me, I know exactly what I'm missing. My parents watch the Smelters pretty religiously. <laughs> they raised you right then. What happened? Uh, no idea. Alright. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Uh, well, why aren't you unpacked? It's a cool record player you got. As far as record players go. Those are my mom's. Um, I don't have any records. I don't, I don't really get records. My mom was into them. <laughs> they were retro when she was my she was a when she was a my age. Huh. Oh, they're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, I... Ah, jeez. I, I don't want to, like, pry. Is he doing all right? He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. <laughs> yeah, well, Greg's always been like that, too. Just more, uh, zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Oh, uh, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. Maybe we should have hung out with Germ tonight, huh? Uh, you run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. Meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Uh, yep. And, and working there every day, too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. Oh god, no, I, I can't. Uh... Jeez, none of these are good. I mean... B, I, I know you could really be doing great things. I guess this is your situation is kind of holding back your potential, huh? I'm sorry, what? Like, not doing anything about it just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I, I mean, you. Yeah, I mean, maybe you should stand up for yourself? Take it. Take it! I mean, you're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? Well, why? <sighs> so, what's the problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? The repair guy Creek at the shop? Uh, I think so. Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. My dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. Uh... 
Oh, where, where, where's this going? He's a creep, man. Hey, you know what? He still works for us. Uh, uh, why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family. He's, he needs the work. Uh, that... Jeez, I, I don't, don't even know what to say to that. Uh, that's... Yeah. I feel really I feel really terrible that it's not your responsibility I know don't you think I know that I'm just saying if you keep letting these dudes off the hook off the hook like you're stronger than this B you're like badass and shit you badass my mom dying was not very badass he's sitting in this room right now is not very badass Okay, sorry, I, I meant you're such shithead, you know that? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what's going on, B? What the hell? A lot of time folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be right the right thing. A lot of times just people do things they do because they can't do anything else. Oh god. Yeah, think about ah, jeez, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Where's the option to just shut down? That's what I'd probably do. I guess, I mean, I guess you, I, I guess there always is technically a choice. So there's a child one with no job, no rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions. I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out come in here and start, start telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? Yeah. I guess that's not really what I'm trying to say to you, B. Um, oh, what are you saying then? I, I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life, all right? You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Gee, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I didn't... Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry, but, but you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around and messing with people and taking whatever you want. While the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought, I thought, I thought we had a good time, B. Uh, I, I should probably go. You should go. Oh, God. Ugh. Yeah, B's route's uh, looking to be pretty heavy. Um, wasn't expecting this. Uh, chicken dinner. My mom. Oh. <laughs> uh, this, this, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This episode, uh, looks like it got pretty heavy. Not sure where that came from. I, yeah, I'm... I screwed that up in the most proficient way possible, probably. <sighs> it's not easy being May. Uh, after that, I after that display, I wouldn't want to talk to anyone. But I mean, does does Dad have anything? Any advice? Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Wasn't surprising you at work though. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually working at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? 
Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with mom today? Uh, she's just stressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, uh, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Ah, uh, but the stress would at least get more specific. No, oh, no, you'll have to do that too. Nah. Ah, cheer up, kiddo. It's just life. Gee, thanks. So how about those uh, curl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, yeah let's watch some TV. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We never leave for too long, folks. Say Garbo. Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. The gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are... You, oh, you sure are. Around the midsection. That's a whopper! <laughs> uh, what even? Loy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. Well, this uh, this episode has been a bit of a journey. Um, I am about as tired as May is probably is right now. Can we say anything to B? Yeah. Uh, I should really apologize. Hey B, you there? Uh, yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm, I'm sorry. It's fine, going to sleep. See you later. All right. Ooh. Have you ever been in a real argument with a friend? Ah, jeez. Hope it can't say it's that way for you. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Ah, kind of bummed out tonight. Aw, why? No reason, just just happens. Uh, must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. No, about what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. We get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets. The giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> Alright, dude, I'm cashing out for the day. See you, duder. Alright, let's go to bed. Uh, eh, this episode's getting pretty long. I think what I'll do is call it here. Uh, yeah, that uh, this episode was kind of heavy. Um, yeah. You'll start to notice that the uh, sort of subject matter and dialogue uh, in this game going forward is going to, I guess, hit a lot more home, so to speak. And you'll start to see that especially in the latter half. But with all that said, I really hope you enjoyed this and hope you look forward to more Night in the Woods and uh, whatever else I've got going on at this point. So see ya.